I got a new ability. Hey, I'm Cryptic Leo. Um, last time we got medicine for the patient downstairs, and now we're about to go talk to... I forgot who we're about to talk to. I think it's a lady. Now, at first I wasn't... I should hold up, hold up. Okay. Uh, yeah, at first I wasn't going to record tonight, but then I couldn't sleep. So I just decided to record. Not that I don't want to play this game. I actually like playing this game. I was going to play it in the morning, but uh, right now would be good to do. So basically, we got to find a balance. Can we talk to this person? Good evening, miss. I'm Dr. Reed, the new surgeon at the Pembroke Hospital. And who are you? Your name has no meaning to me, mortal. You're nothing but dust blown by the winds of eternity. I beg your pardon? What are you begging for, mortal? My clemency? Well, tonight maybe I'm inclined to mercy. You'll never forget the night you met Thelma Howcroft. You keep calling me mortal. Why is that? And if I'm mortal, what are you? Well, Dr. Reed, if you must know, I'm a vampire. There's something wrong with you, isn't it? We're not gonna mesmerize her, but yeah, hold up. Check up. Do you require my services, Miss Howcroft? I have no need for your medicine, Dr. Reed. Blood is the only drug I need. Like, I feel like I wouldn't... I mean, it she's healthy, but I don't think that she would, um... Dr. Place. If she was a hell of a I don't think she would just outright tell me. Who are you really, Miss Howcroft? I mean, apart from being a vampire. Is that not enough for you, puny mortal? What do you require? Hmm? Proof of my powers? I'm curious to know who you were before becoming a vampire. No, it was such a long time ago, I don't remember. Centuries of unholy life can have strange effects on one's minds, you see? Okay. Uh, would that get added to our blood quality? No, that's not a hint. Uh, hint. Okay. Have you heard of any blackmailing going on within these walls? I have no time for mortal games. My secrets are beyond their comprehension, Dr. Reed. Are you a patient here? Most likely. Oh, well, yes, he is. You look like you got the little... Whatever they call this. Uh, I'm assuming you must be a patient here. Am I right, Miss Howard? It's only a cover. To hide from my enemies. I can leave whenever I want. As a woman, a, a spirit, fog, or bat. That's what they all say. Your enemies. Who are these enemies you mentioned? Can you describe them? I cannot say for sure. But I sense their eyes on me from nearby. I, I feel them watching me every time I visit the garden near the morgue. The staff here are not your enemy. They're here to help you, to care for you. I'm not speaking of the doctors in white. I'm speaking of the men and women who hunt me, for I am a vampire. I see. Don't worry. These people will not find you here. I'll personally make sure they leave you alone. Thank you, mortal. But do not interfere with them. For you are no match for those that hunt me. Wrong target. I already asked that. I mean, we could ask it anyway, just in case, but... And why do you believe you're a vampire? I don't need to believe anything. It is what I am. It is what I feel within this hollow shell of flesh. Oh, okay. Describe how you feel. Please. Describe to me how you feel. What is it like to be a vampire? I can hear my body crumble from the inside as my flesh cracks and fades. I sense the last pulse of postulant blood within my drying veins. I need new blood. I see. Have you ever heard of Cotard Syndrome, Miss Howcroft? Never. It's a mental illness discovered by a French neurologist named Jules Cotard. The affected patients are delusional. They believe that they are putrefying, that they are dead, 
A ghost or a ghoul. Or in your case, a vampire. Delusional, you say? Oh, sad and petty mortal. You can't even begin to understand the concept of immortality. And you think it is I who am delusional. I mean, I can show a real vampire if you want. He might not like it, but yeah. Thelma, Thelma is affected by... Oh, okay, that's... Yeah, okay. Yeah, but I never heard of that uh, syndrome before. Hmm. Is it a way for us to cure it? Is there another personal question? No, okay. I'll leave you, Mistress of the Dark, to your nocturnal activities. Okay, so I'll try to talk louder, because in the last episode session... Down. Who was that? Yeah, in the last episode, it was this thing I read in the beginning. The one I said, it's like I sounded like an ASMR. Not that if you listen to ASMR, you know, you're weird or anything, but I, I sounded like the weird ones when they sound like they're whispering in your ear or something like that. So, yeah. I usually sound like that when, because you know when you read sometimes to yourself, like you, I don't know, you don't really like read out loud so that everyone can hear you. You just read out loud to the point that, you know, you get what you're saying yourself. I already checked this, right? This is that letter, right? Oh, the letter was in here. Okay, yeah, we're good. What's wrong with you? Good evening, sir. Can I help you? Unless you're here to fix my face. No. I don't think you can help me. I'm Dr. Reed. I've recently taken the position of head surgeon here. War injuries, am I right? You guessed right, Doctor. German shell took my pretty little mug right off. But they still call me Thomas Elwood. Rumors of shady business. Have you heard rumors of underhand dealings in the hospital? If you want to know what's going on here, you better talk to Miss Jones. She knows everything. Especially what she shouldn't. How is your stay with us? How is your stay with us, Mr. Elwood? Oh, it's bliss. I just escaped death in the trenches to be surrounded again by the moans of the dying. Can I ask you precisely why you're a patient here? It's the pain, sir. The drugs don't work. It just hurts under the scars. If you get my drift. I guess. Oh, check up. Soldier, do you need assistance? I'm fine. Just do something for this pain, will ya? That's all I'm asking. We could put him out of his misery. By taking him into a dark alley. This is that one who believes she's a vampire, right? How close are you to Miss Horcroft? Are you aware that she thinks she is a vampire? Okay, to yeah. wait for her next nibble is the best reason to stay here. Every time she approaches my bed, she treats me like something tasty. A normal person. Aren't you afraid? She may hurt you if the game goes too far. She's quite harmless, I can assure you. Her head's broken inside, is all. While I'm busted on the outside. But she's still beautiful. Living proof that there's hope for me. Uh. Okay. You let her bite you? So do you let her bite you? You know that's not sanitary. And why not? She's only supping a few drops of me blood. And the pain. It's real for once. She could decide to bite less willing patients. Then it's another good reason for me to stay here, Doctor. Did she bite him on the neck or... Oh, that could be the one right there on his arm, probably. I don't know. You do realize she's mentally disturbed. It's called the Kotar Syndrome. She truly believes she's a vampire. 
In her madness, she never refers to my scars. And frankly, if I could, I'd join her world. It seems much more fun than the real one. I mean, but you could be potentially hurting other people, probably. Oh. Did it just pop up? I doubt it. Let's see. Where were you stationed, sir? Did you serve for long? I really don't want to talk about all this shit. No offense. I was pushing too much. I served in France myself. I just wanted to know what happened to you. You were an officer, weren't you? Then I doubt we fought the same war, sir. No offense. Not taking you probably on the front line and stuff like that, so you probably would have been you probably would have seen more action. I mean I guess we got action. How is your stay with us, Mr. Elwood? Oh it's bliss. I just escaped death in the trenches to be surrounded again by the moans of the dying. Can I ask you precisely why you're a patient here? It's the pain, sir. The drugs don't work. It just hurts under the scars. Okay, wait, 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 wait. We already... Didn't we already ask that? I mean, didn't you already, like, say that to us, so... Can I do anything for your pain? Nurses gave me a bunch of pills. No effect. Told you. It's like the flames are under my skin, burning away. Who is treating you? Is someone in particular looking after your case? Nobody since the old and tired doctor spoke to me. Started to think I was forgotten about. would not blame you. You don't seem worried by that. My face hurts so much more when I smile or cry. I've learned it's easier not to speak. But be assured I'm smiling inside. Soldier, oh, do you need wait. assistance? I'm fine. Just do something for this pain, will you? That's all I'm asking. Goodbye for now, Mr. Elwood. Yeah. Let me check to see if there's... Whoops. Uh, let me check to see if there's any, um... Medicine we could give him. Or can I only check that at the, uh... Here it is. I guess we can only check that at the... What is it? What is it? The... Uh, workbench. Also, just like a sign of me being bad, like, you see how it's like veins right here? So if it gets on this side of my face, does that mean like I'm like, becoming like an evil character or something like that? Oh wait, we could trap this. Okay, hold up. Let's go out to the person that's um, spying on us. The pain. It's here again. I'm just going. Oh, Do we have to go upstairs? I see an arrow pointing up. Okay, so somewhere up here. I might be in the wrong building. Hold up. Okay, so somewhere in this area. Alright, so around the corner. And then we'll come back and do the main mission. But yeah. Where's her room at? Like, is her room like out here? And then you look at no. He's somewhere in this area. Details. Okay. 
So, do I got to come back at a certain time? Thelma Howcroft said she was being watched by vampire hunters. Where are they hiding? I should investigate. Humboldt letters. I finally found the missing money for the fee asked by the ambulance driver to bring you to the hospital. Don't worry about nothing now except getting better. So I took care of everything. I asked some of our neighbors and they told me that this Mr. Hooks is something of an honest crook. He may ask for extra money in exchange for a bed, but the bed is then guaranteed. I'm sorry I refused to pay first and I realize that now uh, I realize now that the important thing is that you get better soon. The Pembroke Hospital is a good place I heard. Despite the bad behavior of the Milton No, of this Milton Hooks, I promise you that everything is okay now. I'll see you in your clean bed as soon as possible. With fondest love. Cole? All right? Oh, Nicola? No, wait. Hold up. Got like. I wish you could use the D pad. Hey, I guess. Milton Hook. Okay. I know it's bad to steal money from the dead, but this time it's still bad. All right. Yeah. So where were they hiding if they was spying on her? I'm sorry you ended up on my plain and cold medical bench, sir. I understand you must be very angry about this unfair situation. It's I locked. I to have you buried in the same mass grave as your wife. I hope that might help. No, 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 let me all. Oh. Okay, I'm just going to... Oh, I can't steal from you. So, should we just come back to this? I don't see them anywhere over here. What's this over here? Oh, ooh! They might be hiding in this, um, spine through this window. Hold up. Do we, uh, talk first and then ask questions later? Ah, shoot. I said that wrong. Uh, do we shoot first and ask questions later? I just want to talk. That don't look like it's an option here. Look nope, it's not. It's on to us. Okay, I try to talk. Yeah, but yeah, like I said, I sometimes whisper when I, you know, read. So I'm trying to, like, make sure my voice is more, what, louder. And like I said, hopefully, if it is too loud, I could just reduce my gain in the edit, and then it won't sound too bad, hopefully. All right, let's see what this is.
Wait. Okay, yes, he's suspected of being a real vampire. That was easy. Kinda. So we gotta go up there. Is that somebody yelling? Or was that siren? Enter at your own risk. Oh. Okay. Wait, wait, wait. Is this? Oh, I thought that was a hideout. Alright, let's go. That's good. Oh, your level. Oh, we could try. from this area. We're just not ready for this part yet. Oh. Yeah, we just go go to the main mission now. After we stoop a little bit. Miss, please, I feel sick. Get over here now. Oh. Hold on, let's help him. So it seems like Clay has anger issues. Probably. That it? Good evening, Mr. Cox. Dr. Reed. Still working at night, I see. I like that. And why is that? People who don't sleep at night always seem more alive to me. More interesting, one way or another. Uh, check up. You're lucky to be alive, Mr. Cox. I hope you're starting to take better care of yourself. This place is full of sickness and decay. How could I get better in such a dump? Fatigue, guy. Uh, can I come back and can I go back and make one for him if I don't have it now? I will see you later. Okay, let's go back. Let's see if we can go back and make him one and then bring it back to him. 
I'll leave you for now, Mr. Cox. Is this supposed to be an hospital? A pig star would smell better. You're probably right. Hey, where are you walking off? Wait, where do you go? Is this supposed oh, this to is be a, an hospital? Okay, okay. A pig star. <laughs> hey, Doc. Okay, now can we give it to him? You're lucky to be alive, Mr. Cox. I hope you're starting this place. Consider yourself lucky that I'm treating all of my patients equally. But don't push your luck. Don't play the innocent with me. I'm sure you have good reasons to act this way. And also weaknesses that can be exploited. No, for real? Is your blood good? Yeah, it's healthy enough. No, wait, wait, hold up, hold up. Yeah, it seems like it's healthy enough. Alright. Wait, hold on, is this supposed to be for everybody or just just for... It's trying to, yeah, is it like trying to account for the whole area or is it just saying like... I don't know. Yeah. But in the end, though, since he's recovering, hold up. Yeah, it says he's recovering. So it ain't like his blood is bad or anything. Uh, personal question. Am I right to assume your wife's letter pissed you off, Clay? I was so mad, I threw away the knife she got me when we got married. Your wife gave you a knife as a wedding present. That knife has always been my lucky charm. If I'd had it in my hand when I got stabbed on that pier, I'd not have been wounded. Where is it? Um, Clay considers the knife that his wife gave him as his lucky charm. Can I find it for him? Do you want it back? I don't need it here, but if you'd be kind enough to bring it to me... I'd be really grateful. A grateful Clay Cox. I might just find your knife and bring it back to you to see that happen. I can give you directions, but I'd be surprised if you managed to find it. My hideout isn't meant to be found easily. A lucky charm. I never would have taken you as the superstitious type. We all have our flaws, Doc. Mine's to have my weapon of choice for when the really dirty business comes around. What can you tell me about your marriage, Clay? Marriage is the sweetest cage, they say. Well, I found myself locked in one with a wild animal. You mean your wife keeps you on your toes? No, I mean, we both have claws and we both love to bite. I guess. I'll leave you for now, Mr. Cox. Oh right, yeah, let's actually do the main mission now. We Well you've been playing for what, 34 minutes? Still haven't um dead anything? Main story. The flu took my dear wife, Emily. I take comfort knowing we'll soon be together again. <coughs> Mr. Rainfields, that's no way to talk. You're in good hands here, and we'll be up again soon enough. <coughs> Now do me a kindness and get some sleep. I'll be back round later. Your words are kind. The blessings of an angel. You're the sweet, sweet lady of mercy. Good evening, Dr. Reed. It's a pleasure to see you again. You seem surprised. Dr. Swansea has brought me up to speed concerning your recent appointment to Pembroke Hospital. You're a vamp. The lady who saved me that night, before vanishing into thin air. I remember you from the pub with Dr. Swansea. Indeed. Allow me to introduce myself formally this time. My name is Lady Ashbury. I remember you well, in spite of the brevity of our encounter. So it seems our Dr. Swansea does indeed have a fascination for creatures of our constitution. 
Dr. Swansea is a remarkable man. Dedicated, one might say, obstinate? He spent years compiling our bestiary. I hope you're more disposed to answer my questions now. You must have countless questions, but our rather urgent matter first. Swansea has explained. My cover, if you prefer, has been compromised. Probably shouldn't be talking about this in front of the patient, but alright. Have any of the patients given you trouble? These poor souls have so little left to live for. I do my best to ease their pain. Uh, I guess I believe her. She seemed like she cared about that guy. The world would be a better place if it were cared for by women like you. You make me blush. I am simply a necessary evil. I felt like she like eased their pain before she actually like, you know, drained their blood. But then again, wouldn't it be like unhealthy at that point? Yeah. Pardon my boldness, your ladyship, but I have questions concerning this condition we share. As a newborn, your hunger for answers is rivaled only by your thirst for blood. But the questions need weight. I'm a scientist. My trade is in the deciphering of mysteries, and I need information to feed my mind. I will gladly answer every question you have, but first... Prove yourself capable of resolving my predicament without eating the culprit. Okay, I'm here to help. Dr. Swansea has commissioned me to be your agent in this matter. You could start by explaining what's amiss. These past insufferable weeks, I've been the victim of extortion. I've made a first payment, but the blackmailer grows greedy. I must refuse his most recent demands. So you want me to kill him? Who would be so foolish as to threaten you, a kindred spirit? Even if it were the case, and I highly doubt it, a vampire would have asked for something more valuable than money. My suspicions lean toward a patient or their family. Hmm. Okay. If we're dealing with an ordinary criminal, surely you've the means to deal with it yourself, if I may. As immortal tradition doth dictate, all fangs and hypnotic eyes ablaze. The blood would run like a river. That's what I hope to avoid. Violence has a tendency to spiral out of control. Wait, so what do you, yeah, what do you want me to do? What are your expectations? Please be precise. As the newly appointed surgeon of this hospital, you are in an excellent position to ask innocent questions and deftly learn the identity of my blackmailer. Oh, okay. I thought you wanted me to, like, kill him or something, but alright. Please continue. Every detail is essential. I'm your man. My embarrassment in this matter is eclipsed only by my shame at having put the hospital at risk. The threat from our anonymous scoundrel is clear. A list of dates. My visits coinciding with the dates of suspicious patient deaths due to massive blood loss. Oh, uh, okay. I mean, of course it's true, but we just gotta, we could just act just for the sake of it. Is it true? Now aren't you the blunt one? I need blood too. You are aware that I too know the thirst for the Scarlet Nectar. In all honesty, I'm not simply a patron to the hospital. My visits serve a dual purpose. Dr. Swansea has been treating my condition with a revolutionary technique of blood transfusion. It seems you are a specialist in the domain. I'll take care of it. Do you know where I should start? If that was the case, I'd settle the matter myself. You could talk to our local gossip, Harriet Jones. Not a pin drops here without her hearing about it. 
I'll meet that woman now. My life, as others know, is in your hands, Dr. Reed. I'm sure of your discretion, but I do fear your powers of persuasion will be put to the test. When this is resolved, I'll be your obligé. I'll answer all questions in regards of your condition. That better not be for. That better not, uh, that better not be some type of foreshadowing that he might die. Okay, so I'm pretty sure that we could possibly fail this in some way, so we have to be careful with what, uh, with what we say with this person, to this person. Oh, is, are, is he okay? Good evening, Mr. Hampton. How do you feel? Dr. Reed, is it? Oh, sir, I must apologize for my behavior. What do you mean? I was not myself in the factory. Fear and exhaustion made me say awful things to you, I'm afraid. You remained perfectly nice and polite. A little delirious, perhaps. But who wouldn't be after enduring an abduction? Thank you, Doctor. That's a relief. Now all I need to do is rest and return to my flock. Uh... Healthy. Oh. Hold up. Look, I don't know. Then I just said stable. At first, wasn't it like healthy or sanitized? It's because I'm talking to him that it shows his health status. That's what I'm assuming. Okay, so what's his name? Was healthy? If I'm assuming, probably. Have you made friends since you arrived? Not really, but I recognize Miss Harriet Jones. I knew her when she lived by the docks. That poor woman had such a miserable life. You never came to see her here at Pembroke. Receiving visits when sick can be an important part of the healing process, you know. We're not just bodies. You're preaching to the converted now, Doctor. To be truly honest, I thought she was dead. She left the docks many months ago. How do you feel? How do you feel, Mr. Hampton? Medically speaking, I mean. I feel exhausted. Beyond exhaustion, actually. William drank so much of my blood in his madness. I feel... empty. You're in good hands here. Dr. Swansea is well versed in blood transfusion, and I'm sure he'll take the best care of you. Thank you, sir. I believe all I need is rest, and then I can go back to the people who need me. What do you do for a living? Uh, I think it might be obvious, but I'm... Um... What do you do for a living, Mr. Hampton? I can't help but notice the cross around your neck. I manage a night asylum for the poor and homeless of the docks. And I try to guide the lost and hesitant on the right path to our Lord. So is yeah, but I say so is he a priest? Are you a priest, Mr. Hampton? A deacon, maybe? Not at all, Doctor. I'm just a man of faith willing to preach the good word. Oh, okay. Why didn't you use your cross against William Bishop? To repel him somehow? That's a very strange question, Doctor. A cross is no magical token, if that's what you were trying to say. Not mine, anyway. Okay, so... Edgar must have did something to his... for him to repel me. How did you end up in William Bishop's den? I had received alarming news about his recent behavior. I went to his place, and he refused to let me go. Why did he abduct you? William was an alcoholic. His addiction suddenly changed to blood. I don't know why. Just like a patient I met here. This Miss Hawcroft. Okay. So he became an addict of blood. Okay. I mean, that does sound like a, I, ain't, I ain't gonna say like a normal vampire, but like, it's like they need it, right? 
Unless he just, like, overdid it with the blood, I guess. You dared to enter this awful place alone. You're a hero, Mr. Hampton. Or a fool. I'm just a man trying to help his friends, Dr. Reed. William Bishop was a conflicted soul, searching for light. Tom Watts, is that the... Is that the, the bartender? Do you know Tom Watts? The bartender from the Turtle. I met him before I found you in the canning factory. Tom? Yes, of course. Always the helping hand, good old Tom. Without men like him, corruption and despair would have wiped out the East End long ago. Okay, so he is good. People are still in despair. How could it be otherwise? The authorities have left us all to rot in this contagious nightmare. No drugs, no advice, nothing. It's a damn shame. Corruption. Who should I avoid in this part of town, then? Any particularly evil figures? Not really. Most men and women are just doing their best. And it's not my habit to speak ill of people I know, Doctor. What is the general situation in the East End docks? The situation has always been tough, with a lot of tensions between the gangs and the Dockers' trade union. The wet boot boys are very nervous since they lost their leader. Who leads the gang now? Who leads the gang now? Since Clay Cox went missing, it's his wife Edwina who runs the show, with the assistance of her minion, Booth Digby. Has the gang been threatening you? Ah, no. I've had this nickname for so long, you know, the sad saint of the East End. No one dares to bug a saint, not even criminals. That's nice, I guess. Goodbye, Mr. Hampton. We'll talk again later. Alright. Anything I can steal from you? No. What? What? What is this? Who are you? Get out of my room. There's no need for alarm, madam. I'm Dr. Reed, the new surgeon. Preposterous. Dr. Reed, you say? I don't want some bumbling intern. Where's Dr. Swansea? Please, calm down, madam. I assure you that I am highly qualified. I'm just back from war duty. <laughs> how brave. Threatening an old defenseless woman. You know how long I've been a patient here. You've picked the wrong fight. I'm Harriet Jones. Harriet Jones? Indeed. I've been meaning to have a chat with you. You know what goes on here better than any other patient, I gather. Oh, better than any patient, nurse or doctor. I've seen so many vile undertakings. I heard there have been some despicable goings on. Was there a case of blackmail? Blackmail? I... Wait. You're investigating something. This isn't a social call. One of those incompetent cunts lit a poor sod's vein. Wait, what? I assure you, madam, this is not an investigation into a possible medical error. Debauchery, then? Nurses Crane, Hawkins, Brannigan's, whores, all of them. They can't keep their legs shut. I've seen them scratching slutty sores. Really? Well, if you have irrefutable proof, I'll not have the staff behaving in such a manner here. This is your business, Doctor, not mine. But I swear one of the nurses is cavorting with some man on hospital hours. Thank you for your time, Miss Jones. You've given me something to go on. See you on the next round. We talked to her before, right? Oh no, there's a bunch of people. The patients and staff might know something. I'll start my investigation with them. Daily routine. That's too much to read. It's about garlic and wooden steaks, so it's most likely about repelling uh, vampires. Good evening, Miss Howcroft. How are you tonight? I need blood, Doctor. Warm, rich, vibrant blood. She looks more pale. 
Did I already do these? Tell me, Thelma. Why do you feel so attached to Mr. Elwood? Why him? I'm... I I'm not sure, Doctor. I think we have a bond of some sort. We've both suffered so much. He's the only mortal I... I find interesting. Would you say you and Mr. Elwood are romantically involved? No. No, Thomas is a delicate soul, <laughs> even though he disguises it. But I am not the woman he needs. <laughs> no, for I am a vampire doctor. Do you plan to make him a vampire too? Of course not. How could I inflict my curse on anybody else? I'm not that cruel doctor. Okay. So I'm assuming I didn't ask this one since it's lit up. Tell me, Thelma. What do you really know about vampires? I saw one and he saw me. I watched him hunt and kill. I saw his terrible wounds heal as his victim died. And then I knew I was saved. You mean you actually saw a vampire? Here it Oh, we got all three. Thelma was Thelma has witnessed a vampire kill a prey. London. Yes, and it has been the answer to my pain. I must drink and kill to regenerate my decaying body. I am a vampire too. You have no idea what problems your claim could cause if heard by the wrong people, Miss Howcroft. You must stop this nonsense now. Why fear the truth? Strange things live in the dark, Dr. Reed. Strange and ancient beings that were here before this island even had a name. Eh, uh, don't tell me I didn't warn, uh, warn you. Alright. I'll leave you, Mistress of the Dark, to your nocturnal activities. Time has lost its effect Damn. on me, but the suffering continues. Oh, here. Okay. We must prove what we are capable of. It is now or never. Okay, let's make sure. Okay. Good evening, nurse. I'm Dr. Jonathan Reed, the new surgeon here at the Pembroke. Dr. Swansea has already told us about you, sir. I'm Nurse Gwyneth Brannigan. Welcome to the Pembroke Hospital. Did he really? It's a good thing I wasn't hoping to keep a low profile. All members of staff have already read about your new blood transfusion technique. Dr. Swansea made sure of that. I see. Well, I'm a little surprised, but I suppose I'll just have to deal with this unexpected notoriety. You must know, blood transfusions are Dr. Swansea's primary subject of research. He is convinced it is the future. Do you know if any of the hospital staff have criminal backgrounds? The people who work here all come from very different backgrounds, Doctor. Just like the patients. Do you require medical assistance, Nurse? Thank you for your concern, but I'm fine. How do you act, stuff? Tell me what Dr. Tippett's did. I know his mistake caused a patient's death. If I had not covered up his error, Dr. Tippett's would have been fired from this hospital. I could not let that happen. You can't allow your emotions to dictate your conduct concerning patients, Nurse Brannock. Overqualified, uh, overqualified as a nurse according to uh, um, oh no, that's what he, okay, hold up, hold up. Okay, so she's the one who covered his, uh, error, okay. Look around you, Dr. Reed. Do you really think we can afford to lose a brilliant practitioner like Dr. Tippett's in our situation?
To clear Dr. Tippett's name must be the decision of Dr. Swansea. You can't take matters into your own hands. I respect Dr. Swansea's authority and management, but he's no idea what happens here on a daily basis. I did what I had to do. I mean, he must not be that good of a surgeon or whatever he's supposed to be if he... Well, I don't know, I guess some doctors have, you know, their patients die, but medical error? Why does Dr. Tippett's claim you're the main reason he keeps working, despite his fatigue? If it wasn't for him, I probably would have left the Pembroke years ago. Dr. Tippett's does not think of you as just a nurse anymore, does he? If you're suggesting he's not taking my gender into consideration when it comes to medical practice and knowledge, I really hope he doesn't. I'm not going to say anything about that. Have you seen a strange man visiting any of the nurses here? I've never heard of such a thing, Doctor. Oh, so that's it? Okay. Goodbye, nurse. Call me if you need assistance. Dorothy Kane, uh, Crane. We talked to her, yeah. She's the one who greeted us, right? Where is she? Oh, you got one of them. Okay. Good evening, nurse. Good evening, doctor. I don't think we've been introduced yet. My name is Pippa Hawkins. And I'm Dr. Jonathan Reed. Dr. Swansea has recently offered me a position in this hospital. Well, it's a euphemism that your help will be appreciated, Doctor. Personal question. Pippa, are you sure you want to leave this hospital? To become a nurse was a little girl's dream. But in the end, I don't feel that useful. I want more. I want to make things change. Oh, she was the one that had that, uh, that note in that locker. I mean, I don't want to, like, make her stay or, uh, yeah, patients need But her. you're doing something important here for all the patients who need your help. We save lives, sure. Each time we send a cured patient home, it's a relief beyond words. But since the epidemic, I feel so powerless. Uh... I think I just unlocked these two, didn't I? I don't know. Also, so this is what the so, uh, social circle is. So it just shows who they... What has the best relationship with or talk to the most, I guess. Okay. I think we're good on accidents. What can you tell me about this strange man visiting one of the nurses during her shift? Let me guess. You spoke with that old shrew, Harriet Jones. Do not pay attention to her, Doctor. She's full of fanciful tales. I don't want to say she could have said the truth, and um, let's just go with this, I guess. She could have been telling the truth about the mysterious man. That old witch will end up in hell soon enough. Who cares if the nurse finds some happiness where she can? No matter how you feel about her, Miss Jones deserves our help. Who says I don't care for her? Hate is what keeps the old crone alive. Okay, so we didn't have to say that. I thought it would have, uh, would have unlocked something. What can you tell me about the strange man visiting one of the nurses during her shift? Let me guess. You spoke with that old shrew, Harriet Jones. Oh, okay, uh, are we good? Goodbye, Nurse Hawkins. Oh, yeah, we are. Okay. 
So where's Nurse Dorothy? Oh, she's out here. She might be the one who are blackmailing, or at least knows the guy. Hey, hold up. Please, sir. I need help bad. What's going on? I'm Blight, sir. Mutant Blight. I've lost my mate. Can't find him anywhere. I'm Dr. Jonathan Reed from the Pembroke Hospital. Please, calm down and give me more details. Oswald and myself were both infantry, sir. We were en route for the hospital, but... Well, we had a disagreement. And Oswald ran off towards the canal. How long have you been searching for him? I, I can't go there. Too many rats by the water. Fucking rats. Can't stand them since the war, sir. Can't stand them at all. Don't be ashamed, Mr. Blight. Many soldiers... Has a phobia of rats preventing him from rescuing his missing, uh, missing friend. You know, now I see how my voice looks when it's too low on the wave thing on Audacity. I'm pretty sure I might sound like I'm mumbling at that part that I just read. Yeah. I don't know. Who survived the trenches suffer from musophobia. I'll see what I can do for your friend. Do you need medical attention, sir? No thanks, sir. Unless you're able to get rid of every rat in London. So other than that, you're healthy. What caused your phobia of rats, Newton? It happened last year following an artillery attack. I was trapped for two days in a hole under two dead soldiers. And there were rats. Go on. They started eating me as soon as I dozed. Gnawing at my ears, my fingers, lips. I couldn't move. I couldn't call for help. I see. No, you don't. You have no idea what it is to wake up buried under bodies. Fucking vermin eating your flesh. Oswald, he found me and saved me. Yeah, I can see, uh, his fear of rats now. Goodbye, Mr. Blight. Take care of yourself. If we can't find this friend, we could just always drain his blood. Oh, wait. Oh, he's dropped. If a citizen is behaving suspiciously, the heart will emit a distinctive glow. By looking at the citizen, you will unlock a special interactor. I mean, interaction, yeah. Look for Dorothy. I want to open this. Okay, there we go. You're sure you don't come back with me? Nah, I have to see someone at the hospital. Be careful. You look so bad they may keep you as a patient. Fuck them. I don't like hospitals. Or doctors. Well then, when you go back to Whitechapel, you may find this useful. What is it? A pass for a free medical exam by the best nurse available. Just read it. I don't read well, but thank you, I guess. 